What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new vlog. In my last video, I announced that I am moving to Boise, Idaho in efforts to help chase after the stream of mine of wanting to go full time with content creation and streaming. So if you haven't seen that video yet, be sure to go check it out. One thing that I did mention in that video is that I'm going to be moving within a couple of weeks. And so it's going to be a few weeks before my cutoff date of this whole journey. Well, plans have changed a little bit because the world is going through a crazy time right now. So we are actually going to be moving in about five days. We pushed it up as soon as possible because now we have a best friend who has some connections and he can get us a moving truck for free that he's going to drive himself over from the Seattle area over to Boise with all of our stuff. And he's gonna help us pack and unpack and all that good stuff. So we're gonna definitely take advantage of his kindness and we're gonna try packing this whole apartment up now in the next couple of days to get ready. So. What I thought was going to be a couple of weeks to vlog all of this process is now turning into a couple of days. So it's gonna be a little chaotic, but luckily I have all of next week off of work so I can pack and move and do all this stuff. So it should be okay, but it's still regardless, moving is always stressful. And especially now with all this craziness going on, it just makes it a little harder than it should be. But regardless, let's get started. All right, what do you wanna start on first? Well, I started on the the closet in the front, but uh, I think I made it worse. All right, let's see. If you guys watched any of my Christmas vlogs, you know that this closet has always been a huge pain and there's just so much stuff packed in here. But yeah, this looks worse than where it was even hey, a day ago. Just hear me out, okay? This is a trash bag full of trash. This is a Goodwill box. So, this is gonna be a long process. Okay, so first things first, before we do any of this, I think we need to actually like clear all this out and make like a nice pathway. So move these boxes, push this table probably all the way over. Maybe start actually disassembling this table. Oh God. See, this is where it gets really complex because I just wanna start on that closet, but now it's turning into, well, actually we should move some of this stuff and maybe I should break down this table and it's just, it's gonna turn into a huge mess. Freaking out. Moving sucks. <laughs> So broke that down, moved some stuff off to the side, so now we have this whole area to work with, and now we can start bringing things out from the closet. Let's have some fun. So just wrapped up clearing all of this out. For the most part, obviously there's still stuff on the shelves, but we're getting there. We're making progress. We're only about an hour in and I'm already exhausted. We are wrapping it up for the night. It doesn't look like we did that much, but also at the same time we did do a lot. So this is what it currently looks like. It's a little empty in the middle, obviously, because I moved the table. Bronte's over there playing Animal Crossing. But yeah, so let me show you guys that closet that I was dealing with the majority of the day. We were able to kind of somewhat organize in there and get a bunch of boxes that are just ready to go out into the moving truck when we are ready to do that office is still completely intact because I do want to do one last stream before we actually move. So tomorrow we are going to be hitting the kitchen and putting away all that stuff as well as the rest of our bedroom. And then from there, we're basically just going to be doing little things here and there for the next couple of days to get all the stuff ready. So yeah, we're going to call it a night, but I will check in with you guys in the morning. Welcome to day two of chaos. It is starting to get a little more messy in here with all of the boxes all over the place. For the most part, today, Bronte has been doing a lot of the work. She's been starting work on the rest of the closet. She has also done a lot of work in our bedroom. It is getting empty in our closet. Honestly, it looks worse than yesterday, but I swear we're making some progress. It's just all like the small things now that are really starting to make this look ridiculous. I want to though now start working on the office. But before I start working and taking all this stuff down, I do want to get one last stream in. And I think I'm going to do a YouTube stream because it just seems, seems right. I want to do a YouTube stream. So we are going to go ahead now and play some Warzone for a couple of hours. And then afterwards, I will start to take down all of the stuff in here, which is going to be a huge pain, especially all the cords. 
It's the worst. Cable management is such a pain and it never ever stops. But nonetheless, let's go play some COD. Okay, so actually, change in plans. I went to go live, got my stream ready for YouTube, set everything up, and I just happened to have a thought in my head of, hey, I actually wonder what this whole process kind of looks like of the whole like setting my time of my upcoming stream. I just wanted to see what it looked like on someone else's end. So I clicked go live, had everything ready to go, said it was gonna premiere at, I think 6 p.m. or something like that. And I had about 15 minutes before that, so it should have showed up on someone's sub feed. So I grabbed Bronte's laptop, went on her YouTube account and went to her sub feed and I just wasn't showing, but I was seeing other people's live streams showing. Well, I don't know why I wasn't showing. So I went ahead and actually fully went live on YouTube to stream out, started my start screen for my stream, and I still wasn't showing up for it. I saw other people with a live icon next to their name, not next to my name though. It was super random. So I started doing my research, went all over Reddit, and found a few people complaining about the same thing of that they weren't showing up in search, they weren't showing up on the browse, their subs weren't getting notified, they weren't even in anyone's sub feed. Same thing for me, and apparently it is because YouTube right now is working with a reduced workforce. So as annoying as it is, I understand Damned that we are in crazy times right now and certain things have to happen. I am a little annoyed though that they didn't make that more abundantly clear saying, hey, realistically, your stream is not going to appear anywhere because you're too small of a creator. We can't trust you. I would have been fine with that if they actually notified me, but they didn't. So I definitely have a bit of a sour taste in my mouth right now towards streaming on YouTube. I've mentioned this a handful of times in the past, but I highly, highly believe that YouTube streaming will eventually take over Twitch, but they definitely have a long ways to go. And especially after something like this, I'm really annoyed. I will still continue to stream on YouTube whenever they do fix this and I'm able to actually go live and have people come in and watch it. I'm not gonna stream on YouTube if I have to manually like send out a link to people. It's just, it's not, it's not realistic. I'm not going to get discovered that way. So for now, I will continue streaming over exclusively on Twitch until this is resolved. But because it did just waste a couple of hours, I'm now like not in a good mood necessarily to go live and be cheerful. So I'm going to go get some food, reset my brain and get into a better mindset before I go live. And then afterwards, we'll see how much I can tear down before I'm absolutely spent for the night. This might have to be a morning process of taking down the office. We'll see. Okay, so it has been a couple of hours now. Bronte and I ate, we relaxed for a bit, just kind of decompressed from all the craziness of moving to a new state while in the middle of a pandemic. It is what it is. Even though we're just going fast as possible, it still is exhausting. So now I am going to shift my focus now over to getting a stream in. I really honestly am so exhausted and just want to crash right now, but I know I will thank myself in the morning where I'll be able to just wake up and start tearing down my office and putting that all away. And if I have to stream in the morning as well, and on top of that, I feel like I'm just going to be really extra stressed out. So we're going to get a stream in. I'm going to be streaming over on Twitch. I'm over the whole YouTube thing. It is what it is. Even if I have to stream on Twitch exclusively for the next couple of months, I will be okay. Honestly, I have been growing a little bit on Twitch, so I've been pretty happy with it. So it's not like it's a bad thing and I won't feel like I'm wasting my time. So with that, let's start getting ready to stream some COD. I've really been enjoying playing solos in Warzone, so let's go do it. Good morning. Had a great stream last night, had a lot of fun, and now it is time to take down all the office stuff. I'm actually really nervous for this because all of these foam pads that you see along the wall are hung up with command strips, which in theory should not take the paint off the walls, but sometimes they do. But what I'm more nervous about is 
this light strip up here on that I put on the ceiling that I can like do all the cool color changing. We just used the adhesive that was right on the back of it and I'm pretty nervous to rip it off because I have a feeling it might tear all the paint off along with it, which means we are either gonna have to pay for it or we're gonna have to paint it, which I don't think we really have time to do any painting right now. So wish me luck that it doesn't actually rip it all off. And then gotta put away all this DJ equipment, Bronte's desk, have to wrap up my chair in good protective stuff because this is the best chair for gaming ever. You can sit in this thing for hours and it's perfect. And then I gotta deal with my actual setup. This is gonna be fun. What should we start with in the office? Oh, dang. We have a, we have too many cups. Ignore that. <laughs> what should we do in the office first? Should I do the lights? I think you should do your, the DJ thing first so then you can use that surface to set stuff on. Okay, okay. I guess I kind of like the light in here to see what I'm doing. So Strategy. that's the thing. I'm just, I'm nervous about ripping the paint off. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. We might need to go buy some paint if it's really bad. Mm. So I haven't really mentioned it recently about this whole like music and DJing stuff and producing. One of my very first videos, actually I think it was my very first video, I mentioned that my first original goal, kind of like my, my big goal in life was to become a music producer and a DJ and just like an EDM artist. But I mentioned in my very first video that that was all put on pause because I just had really, really bad perfectionism and I'd basically gotten myself to a point where I just was not happy doing it anymore. And ever since I started streaming, I've kind of gotten over my perfectionism. So I definitely do want to go back at some point and maybe do some DJ sets on Twitch and maybe get back into some music production. I don't know when, I don't really have an exact timeline in my head for that. I'm so focused right now on gaming and streaming and growing my Twitch and my YouTube where this, I know this will come back at some point. And for now I'm just doing it for fun and I've been having a blast, like not putting any pressure on myself. But I want to eventually someday start streaming some DJ sets on Twitch and getting back into music production. So I'll let you guys know as soon as that actually starts to become a real thing. That could be next month. It could be two years from now. I don't know. I'm just going with the flow in terms of this stuff for now. So yeah, just thought I'd give you guys an update. Just moved everything out of the office now. And luckily no paint got torn off on the walls from the foam pads. But what I was worried about was the strips and I don't think you can really see it on this video but unfortunately I definitely ripped some paint off with a light strip it is what it is don't take it out or deposit it'll be okay but for now uh, Bronte and I do need to run up to her mom's house because we have an outdoor couch there that we need to get out of storage so I'm gonna go shower we're gonna go head up to Edmonds and then we will resume packing the rest of our apartment so I realized I completely forgot to vlog when we got to Bronte's mom's, but essentially she was kind enough to give me a haircut and trim me up before going to Boise. So thank you Bronte's mom, really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, we don't have to go out in public and do any weird stuff that we don't actually absolutely need to during these crazy times. Um, we also went ahead and dropped off some stuff at her place and also ended up pulling out from her storage area, our outdoor couch, which could not fit in this car, but we got it ready for our friend that's helping us move. He's gonna go stop by there in the morning with the moving truck. So now we are on our way home right now and we have to finish packing essentially and get everything absolutely ready for when our friend Jose comes first thing in the morning just to have everything ready to go. So it's gonna be a really long night. I will say this move so far has been extremely smooth. Like everything has gone perfect. Why would you say that? Knock on wood. There's no wood in here. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> An update. It is currently about 10.30 p.m. the night before our move. Our friend Jose is coming over at 9.30 in the morning and this is where we're at. We currently have Valkyrie's stream on. She's playing Animal Crossing and it is distracting us from the mess that is this entire apartment still. I'm jealous. Bronte's jealous because she wishes she was playing Animal Crossing right now. Yeah, our place is absolutely destroyed right now. We have so much to do still. I don't know how we're gonna get this all done. Our kitchen's absolutely destroyed. Bronte is working on the closet. In there, in my old office, we are stacking all the boxes up, so we're making a little bit of progress, but I have a feeling this is gonna be a very, very long night. So we made it. It is the morning of the moving day. Everything's basically packed up. It still looks a little messy because things are out of order, but we have about 15 minutes before my friend shows up. 
So we're gonna straighten some things up so it'll be a little easier to move everything out. But I am going to wrap up the vlog here. This is essentially gonna be like a part one of I don't know how many parts of this whole moving process. Like I said, I'm going to wrap this up right here, so be sure you are subscribed so you can see the rest of this process of me moving to a new state, getting my new stream set up. Set up? Stream set up? Set up? I don't know how to say that. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace. <laughs>